day 285 and you're speaking to the Meeples champion. And today we're going to be going over a game that I actually backed on Kickstarter a very long time ago. It was so long, in fact, that I actually received the game about three months, maybe four months into COVID. So we're talking this game must have been backed almost four or five years ago. Now the game's a old game, at least they said so during the, the, the run of the game on Kickstarter, but they had relaunched it hoping to get it back out. This game is called Belfort. Now, Belfort's an interesting game because the concept is, is that we're all starting with the same setup. You've got circular and square meeples who represent elves and dwarves, and they start off as a level one. And as the game progresses, you're going to be working on trying to upgrade these, trying to get more of them into your supply, trying to get cards that will allow you to go to different places throughout the board. There are five districts on the board, and there are 11 types of buildings you can go to. There's different things that will allow you to get different types of resources, the wood, the stone, different types of, of additional workers, temporary workers like the gnomes, and these will allow you to get all over the board. Now, the board setup is, is that at the end of a round, when the next round starts up, certain rounds will kick off with a scoring. There will be three scorings in the game. And during this time, there are only two ways to score. You can either have the majority of a section, which gives you five points, or the second majority, which gives you three points, well, minority, or you can have the most of a certain worker, which gives you three, or the second most, which gives you one. Once you've gone through all three scorings, you've gotten all these added up, you'll figure out who the winner is. Well, that's how you play the game, but why don't we jump in, let's talk our seven categories, and see where this game lands for us today. <laughs> When it comes to the art, I really like the box. I was a big fan of it. It's what brought me into the Kickstarter. I was going through the pages as usual. I've, I've, everybody has different approaches to this. But I was going through, I saw the box on their Kickstarter, and it really grabbed my eye. And when I got this in and I actually set it up, the inside of the box is just as nice. It, it has a great town feel to it. It's large. It's colorful. There's a lot of mixtures of good different color in there. I like the meeples and their designs. To me, the art is a huge thumbs up. Your components. Now the components are primarily wood. Almost everything in the game is gonna be wood, at least in my version. Now I may have gotten a more deluxified version. I got it with all expansions and such with it. So it's possible that I just got a better version than most. But in my version, everything is gonna be wooden and then there's gonna be cards and they're all top quality. Thumbs up. price. Now it's a little hard to tell exactly where this landed. Again, I got this with all the expansions. I paid over $100 in total for this, but I believe that the game goes for roughly in the $60 range for the base game. And to me, you're getting a pretty good game for $60. You can play up to five players. That fifth player is always a big deal to me. You have the ability to go with multiple strategies. You have a lot of options, plenty of rounds, scoring. Things can change one round to the next. You might be scoring really low early because you're investing and prepping yourself for a huge later scoring setup. So to me, the price is worth it. It's a thumbs up. Your difficulty. So I don't know if kids are gonna like this or not. I think that the theme should bring them in and I don't feel it should scare away them. I think that this should be one that they should be able to try. So I think a kid and a beginner can try this game. But I think that an experienced and an expert will love this game because it's all about how you build and you may go for early points and say, you know what, I'm not building a long run, but I'm gonna hit early and have a shot at the victory. Or you may be somebody who says, I may not score early, but I'm prepping myself for a huge run on, the, on that definite the last scoring round and then the middle scoring round is where I'm trying to see if I can hit fast enough. To me, that makes this game really interesting when it comes to that difficulty. It makes it so all levels have a shot. Thumbs up. Replayability. It's not one you're going to play multiple times in a day. It's just too long the game. It's going to take you probably about 90 minutes. And then how often are you going to play it after that? Now, I've been in this huge run. I have so many games. I've been trying to get new games played constantly so that I can do this channel. So this one's definitely taken a hit, but it's one I'm always thinking about. I'd like to get it back to the, to the table again. So I think this one has the shot to be played a few times a year, but I'd say somewhere between two and four is your max area. 
I don't think in a larger or mediocre sized collection, this game will get pulled out that often, but I think it still can get pulled out two to four times, which for me, I think that makes it replayable. So thumbs up. Your keys to victory. I said it before. What are you after? Are you trying to get more more workers? Are you trying to upgrade your worker? Are you trying to get points early? Are you trying to take specific types of buildings early? That's what you're targeting. It's up to you to decide how you want to attack that. To me, there's plenty of keys to victory. Thumbs up. Is the game unique? I think the game is unique. Yes, there are other games where you can go in and you can you can do area control, you can do worker control, but there's something about the way this is set up and your option of you grab a card and you know that card's going to let you go to at least five spots. I feel like that this game has a real interesting display. I really like it. It's a thumbs up. Overall, what do I think? I really like this game. It's expensive. It's not one I highly recommend that you go buy because of how expensive it is. But if you get a shot to try it, give it a try. If you're okay with spending a little bit more money and you've tried the game, it may be one for you. Well, it has been day 285, and we're speaking about the game, Belfort. And you're speaking to the Meeples Champion. Like, share, subscribe, and check down below in the description. I'll be adding an Amazon link in case you want to get this game for your collection. Until next time, I'll talk to you tomorrow.